Hey, so, uh, sex sells, apparently. Uh, so, it, you're, anybody play Mass Effect in here? Did anybody play Mass Effect? And remember Grudgingly. how well-written the sex scenes were in those games? Oh. Yeah. There I'm, was. It was there. I'm cringing so hard right now. Just the, the romance. It's, I, oh. Oh, my God. Like a conversation tree when I'm trying to get it on is just not my way of... Oh, anyway. It's, it's definitely not romantic. It's definitely... definitely not romantic. More... It's like watching a donkey show. <laughs> oh, no. It's strangely transfixed on the act in progress. And you want to look away but there's something oddly compelling that leaves you slightly guilty inside. All that I need to know is what Mass is Effect is. going to be a quick time event like God of War. That's okay. <laughs> imagine. Player engagement. Press X to blam. <laughs> so, so Mass Effect Andromeda has gone gold. Uh, as a matter of fact, that was about a week ago. As a matter, I must have missed this news. Uh, but the ESRB rating was just changed. From partial nudity to full nudity. I, you know, I, oh, I understand yeah. why we're talking about this, but like, really? It's that big of a deal to people? So here's so why it was see, a big deal. So and you're going to see some alien bush. So we bring. So we let's might. contrast this. Let's contrast it how, how it used to be received versus how it's received now. And maybe there's a little bit of hope in humanity left, possibly. No, but no. why would you say something so well, ridiculous? Well, because because 2016 game of the year on a lot of outlets oh. says otherwise. Uh, okay, but Aaron Flynn, uh, GM for Bioware, went on Twitter to highlight this change in the ESRB notice as saying, "Yes, there will be full nudity." And when he was asked about it, there was a, he, he basically said, "Yes, it's softcore porn in space." Oh, uh, finally. Interactive Skinamax. Interactive Skinamax. Wanted. You know, there's nothing um, quite there's nothing quite like waking up in the middle of the night after falling asleep on your couch in your man cave and having <laughs> accidentally left Cinemax on to your wife trying to wake you up. Yeah. That's awkward. Uh, but that's what Mass Effect is. That awkward game that you're playing that looks cool for one moment, but then your wife catches you watching a sex scene the next. Uh, but, yes, he said he called it softcore porn. So they're going full nude this time, and really the only level of nudity that Mass Effect has ever undergone is maybe showing some butt cheeks. Did somebody oh. ever think about the children? Well, but, no, they want children to see this, clearly. <laughs> they do, so that, that's their evidently. Agenda. So Bioware, uh, Bioware's in, yeah, Bioware's talking. Well, do we want to show Twin Dick to kids? And then everybody looks around at the table. They 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 do that movie agent cocaine. They go, yeah, let's totally show dicks to children. Why not? Yeah, full yeah. M. Let's go. Come so, on, people. What is this? Of course, it took about five minutes uh, for a angry Twitty, a Twitter follower to get uh, offended. Uh, and, of course, Why? he had to walk back his statement. So this Twitter follower says... Why take a brilliant game like Mass Effect and turn it into porn? It's bound to reduce sales and game rep, not to mention relationships. Oh, I don't want to live on this planet anymore. A stupid <laughs> fucking statement. Wait, wait hold on. Is it, sorry I gave the wrong... In, wait, what? What? No. No. Really? So, th this is some of the best writers... There is in the last generation. You know, Mass Effect was a huge franchise. Uh, the uh, what, what other games did they make? Why, why is this escaping me right now? The uh, Dragon Dragon Age Dragon, Dragon, Dragon Age games. Age, yeah. So sorry, I gave the wrong impression. We have strong characters, great gameplay, romances, and more, all dealing with mature themes. As this, if this was, is it? This was a fucking question. <laughs> like I don't mean to call out this random person, but this was the this was the tweet where he effectively walked back his sarcastic snark about it being softcore porn. Man, fucking own that shit. If you're gonna have dicks and tits in your game, at least don't walk back your tweets. And you know maybe some marketing manager was just like, yeah, Look, that was excessive. Garbage. Aaron. 
Even you know? if it's garbage, stand by your garbage. There you go. Oh. I'm in it regardless. I don't care if I had to see a nugget pouch to you while I play a game. I'm down with said nugget bro. pouch. Yo, <laughs> we're going to see twin chicken nuggets. What's up? That's going to be funny as fuck. I like it. You know it. what that's going to do? That's going to create so many memes. You're going to have Pathfinder balls all day. <laughs> Just Pathfinder <laughs> ball memes. That's what's going to happen. You're going to have twin titties and Pathfinder chicken nugget like chicken nuggets held in a nut sack. That's going to be hilarious. Oh. Look, you're going to no, seriously, there's going to be a scene where Pathfinder male is going to be bending over, put on his trousers. People are going to put dipping sauce on the nuggets. I promise you, people are weird. <laughs> it's <laughs> Oh no. So, y'all remember Only when the one first sweet and sour? God yeah, well, oh no, not oh. sweet and sour. Honey mu honey mustard and the other ones like barbecue, you know what I'm saying? He's got names for them. <laughs> Their ranch tastes like I've left an actual jar of ranch out of my refrigerator for months. Oh, they call that Chipotle ranch. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Look, let's think back so think back to the first Mass Effect. And the first Mass Effect obviously caught yeah. some heat because it let players interactively engage in sexual activity with other characters. Now, of course, the only other worse party than a social justice warrior to pull any of this stuff out and rage about it is Fox News conservatives. <laughs> it doesn't get Thank any you, better Fox than News. that. Thank you so much. Thank you for providing me with something useless. I have to fact check 50 times just to see if anything that you provided was had any merit. That's wonderful. What are they if not entertainment these days? Especially these days. I mean, eight Good years, ten years fire. ago... Would you have thought that we would have Donald Trump as a president? Oh, I'm absolutely brimming. I'm knowing absolutely now. brimming that, that he's our president. It's hilarious. <laughs> this is like, this is everything America deserves. The, right. And it's, this, this, this kind of deserves. stuff is why. So here we have a video of How Fox News. Wow. We have this Sorry, video. Oh of God. course, the Ryan Seacrest of the gaming industry, Jeff Keighley, went on to Fox <laughs> News and he defended Mass Effect to a bunch of conservative moms who know nothing about this game. Uh, and it's, it's a meltdown and a half. Let's, let's watch. Cooper Lawrence is a psychology specialist, radio talk show host, and the author of the new book, The Cult of Perfection. And Jeff Keeley is a game expert with Spike TV. Welcome uh, to both of you. Uh, you know, Cooper, it sort of cracks me up whenever I hear a, a company say that, you know, there's all these controls in there that you can monitor the time and you can, you know, but basically the box, Pandora's box is open. I mean, kids have access to these things, and unless you're hovering over them every second, they're going to find ways to see this stuff uh, on the internet. How damaging is it really? Well, the thing is, you know, it's the, the whole concept of like, 13 year olds have never seen Playboy because they're not supposed to. It's that idea that, I mean, let's, let's talk about who the video game is for. It might be for adults, but if you look at the statistics, who is playing video games but adolescent males, not their dads? So that's the first thing. The damage is this. We know that all the research shows that violence has a um, desensitizing effect. Well, sexuality does too because this is when the developing mind is happening. This is when they're first deciding who they're going to be, who their identity is. This is when social development is happening. And here's how they're seeing women. They're seeing them as these, as these objects of desire, as these, you know, hot bodies. I mean, they don't, they don't show women as being valued for anything other than their sexuality. And it's a man in this game deciding right. how many women he wants to be with. All right, let's get Jeff in on this. Uh, that's com Go ahead, completely Jeff. incorrect. Yeah, it's completely incorrect. First of all, you can actually play as a man or a woman in the game. Cooper, have you ever played Mass Effect? No. Right. Well, I think the fact is you talked about, you know, another thing that you mentioned is that how it's, you know, has full graphic nudity. That's completely incorrect. So, yeah, that was a disaster. Um, but, of course, back then, we were still on the back end of what parents and other... I mean, the social justice thing wasn't even that big a movement back then. People weren't raging about the shit that was going in video games. Uh, Gamergate was not a thing. Uh, so this was not a conversation we were typically having. As a matter of fact, we were most of us were picking up the flag going, hey, don't fucking tell me what I can't see or not see in my games. I'm an adult. But what about the children, they were saying. So now, fast forward to this generation. Now we have games like... Witcher 3, Witcher 2, uh, Conan, the most recent Conan game, or Conan game, has full rendered swinging dicks with physics and everything 
It is quite Rust a sight. It it's, what's that? Rust. 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 Actually, yeah. Rust was almost the pioneer of this kind of stuff. Amnesia, oh, yeah. Dark Descent. Dicks everywhere, right? Now mm-hmm. we have nothing left to bitch about because now we're leaning more towards having equality and nudity in games these days. Mm-hmm. So this only came out today, this news. So I'm waiting, of course, for the lovely comments to start churning out. Uh, but really, I can't even stop. I, I'm not even offended by this, really. I'm more thinking about how awkward it's going to be like in every other Mass Effect game that any of those love scenes ever were. I mean, am I wrong in this? No, you're not. Uh, no? No. Realis- no? Realistically, this is <clears throat> realistically this is the age-old problem. <clears throat> you're always going to find a, a group of people who are going to be offended with in video games, with the violence in video games, with a racial theme in the video game. And, and unless it comes from a real place of malice and it's not just used contextually within the game, because we know what Mass Effect is about, all right? It's a, originally, it was a sci-fi, it's a science fiction soap opera that had built-in characters and relationships. And what do relationships lead into? Sex. And of course, why? Because it was a mature game for an adult audience. So, of course, it's going to be in Andromeda, too. Now, honestly, I have different criticism when it comes to Mass Effect, but that's not what it's about right now. It's just the nudity in the video game. Yeah, like I said before, people are going to bitch, right? We know this. It's just so so we might see some swinging dicks and some alien bush. <clears throat> Why is this such a big deal? It shouldn't be. As a matter of fact, I don't think I remember hearing any uproar hardly at all about the witcher does any did anybody None. hear any bitching about the I didn't witcher? Hear anything no here's what i saw on the internet i saw people celebrating the fact that Geralt was booty fucking naked dick swinging in a tub that's what i saw the internet talking about no one cared so nice. wait, so some so somehow mass effect is is an under accusation now don't get me wrong i could be wrong this is just from what i'd seen i hadn't seen any real like uh, anything against the witcher 3 it's all been positive especially just as a game itself and the themes of Geralt being booty naked because everybody likes to see swanging like witcher dick apparently i mean hey. if you're gonna do one do the other why not please yeah. the ladies hey. <clears throat> or if anything hey, you have a- some ammo to say hey this is why you and the third wave feminists should stop bitching about what happens in video games because now the men are doing it too which they'll still find their way but we got a little bit more ammo in the argument to say, okay, now we've got tons of nudity on both sides. Hey, we can stop complaining about this now. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, so I just, you know, it's just, wait, who was talking? My bad. Go no, ahead. go for it. Oh, no, I'm just stoned as fuck, kind of half, <laughs> half thinking about Mass Effect Andromeda, and now I'm starting. Okay, really, this is not about the nudity part, but I think it, it is about Mass Effect Andromeda. If I can, you know, move the conversation a little bit. I think the biggest disservice about Mass Effect Andromeda is that they're not making it about a different species. Like, we're still a human. I've been talking to a lot of Mass Effect fans, and one thing that has been unanimous is they all wanted to play as a Turian, or they all wanted to play as a Slander, they all wanted to play as a Krogan. You know, they all wanted to play as a different alien species. That's what I'm getting at. And we're still humans. And now we're doing a twin dynamic. Mm. Can can, Can we all just look at this and go, this is not the greatest direction, considering I know this is a one-off and it's set in a different environment in a different time while things are corresponding with Shepard in, in, in somewhere in a different galaxy. That's fine and well and good. So make it about a goddamn Krogan. Make it about a, Kro- a Krogan clan warring with one another, and it's a crazy story about that. That is far more compelling to me than, ooh, it's twins, and now we're going to have softcore porn with male rider dicking down secretaries and all sorts of alien creatures like William Shatner and female rider getting her clam jammed on all sorts of shit. <laughs> That's going to be cool. That's dope. I don't give a fuck. That's fine, I guess. But I mean, I'm tired of the human stuff. Why not? Why not try something a little different? That's still going to sell because you have Mass Effect's flag bearer name to use. Uh, I definitely agree with that. Yeah, because uh, I felt I kind of felt that way since the first game, even though the first game burned me. Really, I don't even want to. Um, I love a lot of games, games burn you. A lot of um, games Jerry, burn you. Jerry understands if he remembers what happened did when we Mass get, Effect did it 1. Did you get touch you inappropriately? 
uh, not touch it. What's inside of me? What, do, anyway, do you, I don't. I don't. Uh, <laughs> where did I, I? can't specifically remember where the first Mass Effect failed you. I know. Were you not a fan of? Um, the... Do you not remember? I played the game extensively. I got to the end where you get into Mako and drive through the portal. Uh, and the oh. game bug, yeah, and I couldn't get around that. I remember the bug ended it for me. The game was glitched and he couldn't continue because it was a massive glitch. Yeah. At the very end, where you're driving the Mako, and you, there's that last portal there. Oh, that shit's gonna make me so fucking mad, dude. I remember. That shit made me so mad. But, I uh, laugh at you, but that's I, I think, I think it horrible. doesn't need to be about humans anymore, honestly. And, uh, I don't know why, for some reason, like, talking about Mass Effect right now makes me think about for an original Xbox that I was very excited about. They never made a sequel for it. It was actually, it actually didn't get out to many people called, uh, was it Advent Rising? Did you guys ever hear about it. that game? I've never I played it. I loved that it. game. Yeah, I yeah. loved that game. It was such a, it was such a great game with such great lore, and you basically were a human, but you were one of the last humans in the entire galaxy, and you being exposed. It's kind of like the like the Superman syndrome, where since you're exposed to different a different world and different kinds of elements, you develop differently than most humans do normally on Earth. It was an amazing game, but I definitely feel like they. Uh, with Mass Effect, they definitely do something different. I would love to be able to play as like Rex from Mass Effect or something. That'd be fucking spectacular. But it'll never happen. What's yeah. uh what's Garrus's race called again? Turian. Turian, there you Got go. It. See, I, I, I think that's a good one. Or we could you know, I, I even thought about this. I even tossed around the idea of being the uh what was the race that the Reapers originally wiped out that gave you the blueprints? Pro Protheans? Protheans, Protheans. yeah. Yes, I thought about that too, and I even thought, I mean, I thought that could even play into the whole storyline of Mass Effect 3 and how you can, of Mass Effect in general, and how you can kind of get around the ending. You can go all the way back and talk about the Protheans, because that is worth exploring if mm -hmm. you're really looking at it from a perspective of getting real in-depth into it. Oh, there's that prospect, prospect, or you could go completely fucking psychotically evil and be the Reapers for a game. Oh, yes. Wow. Which, uh, I think that would be a fucking interesting reflection of what's going on and what's the reaper's logic to why they have to wipe out species and why they're limiting them technologically and what their real logic is because they we got told we know it's kind of like why we want to know about the predator but we don't know shit about him nice well yep. we're getting boobies and dicks and all kinds of other nudity in mass effect uh so yeah i can't wait to see how uncomfortably that plays out uh, but apparently I'm not hearing any outrage other than just your normal, maybe just offhand Twitter account. So we'll see how that happens, but I'm going to be playing it either way. I do love Mass Effect, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Good games either way. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in more segments from this particular show, click one on the right. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be super helpful. And of course, it would be amazing if you subscribed for future content.